Residents of Kisauni in Mombasa County are trying to come to terms with the sad reality that a young life has just been cut short. A Form 2 student is among two people who were shot dead by police in Kisauni area on Wednesday night after being accused of being members of the Wakali Kwanza terror gang that has been wreaking havoc and terrorizing residents of Kisauni. Police say that they are also trailing suspects in other areas that have been identified as terror hotspots, including Kongowea, Mshamoroni, Spaki and Old Town among other areas where the dangerous gang members are active. Elsewhere, a family in Kiamunyeki Farm in Nakuru County is in distress following the mysterious disappearance of their three-month-old daughter. They claim their child was kidnapped by a neighbor they had known only for a month. Kaona 640 mefika, pado ajarudi, kipiga simu iko mteja. So mi nika, nika, nika amua kufunga kazi saa hizo. Tukaanza, tukatoka na dadangu huko kwa barabara, tuende tumuangalia tukama tutampata. And political and religious leaders drawn from West Pokot County have launched a peace caravan as they seek to unite rival communities living within the county and its environs. Led by area governor Simon Kachapin, the leaders have embarked on a three-day peace mission that will see them traverse the vast county as well as neighboring Trukana and Elgeo Maraquet counties. <laughs> Meanwhile, a businessman who unlawfully purchased and developed a piece of land in Yamira has been evicted following a court order. The Yamira court issued the eviction orders, granting Jane Kemunto Mesa, a widow who has pursued justice since 1998, the right to occupy the land. Okay. Finally, Kiambu County Governor William Kabogo has promised to deliver on his pre-election pledges, terming the three years of his term in office as challenging. Speaking after a state of the county address, Kabogo called on youth to economically empower themselves by applying for loans provided by the county government through the Biashara Fund.